I hate it. What? Where? That way. Oh my god. Dude, holy shit, this is intense. <laughs> mm. Fuck, I hate this. I hate this. We killed a rat. Oh man, those uh, those parts get really intense. Well, this is the same one from the first one, from the first game, 2016.
Right. This was a special brush, like a horsehair brush, but different. At that point, I hesitated. Will this really work? Fuck it. I was already halfway through, and besides, it's not like I can just put it all back and forget the whole thing. Excuse me, anything different? Anything new? No. Oh, well, that's the end of that chapter. God damn, thank God, because that chapter was something. <laughs> oh, makes me... <laughs> almost makes me miss playing the original from 2016 when there was no combat, when there was actually nothing you needed to be running from. Because, uh, yeah, back in 2016 when the first Layers of Fear came out, uh, there was nothing. There was, like, there was no threats. Like, there were jump scares, there were, like, enemies, such as the woman we keep seeing here, but we never had to run from her in 2016, and we never had to fight her off. So, I mean, it's a new new addition, uh, it's a welcome addition, but at the same time, even though, like, getting chased does give you a rush, I think I like the idea that I'm going to be chased, even though I'm not going to be chased. You know what I mean? Like, I like the whole psychological part of it, a part of that. Because uh, back in 2016, like, this game was basically, I mean, it still is a psychological horror, but it was really a psychological horror back then because, well, most psychological horror games don't have any combat. Most of them. Most of them. Not all of them, but just most. The ones that I've played, anyway. But... See, obviously, you know, there's psychological horror for a reason, because they make you think something's going to happen. They, it keeps you on your seat. It keeps you on edge. It's making you think. It's, you know, it's, uh, well, hold on. I got to stretch. Oh, my <sighs> But, yeah, it's like, it's making you think. Um, it's constantly giving you that sense of dread. That constant sense of uneasiness, but nothing ever happens. Or, well, it's not the fact that nothing ever happens. It, like, nothing ever happens as in nothing chases you. You're constantly being frightened, terrified, because you don't know what's going to be behind the next corner. You don't know what's going to be behind the next door. You don't know what's going to be in the next room. You don't, like, you know what I mean? That's what Layers of Fear in 2016 was. There were enemies, yeah, but they weren't out to, like, chase you down. They were kind of just there to give you that sense of dread. And that's kind of what I wish that they did with this one. Like I say, I don't mind the combat. Like, it's it's fine, you know? But I do like, when I'm playing a psychological horror, I do like that psychological aspect. Where it's making you think that something could be around the next door, or around the next corner... In the next room, behind the next door, you know what I mean? You don't know. And that actually brings me to a horror game I played long ago. Um, I believe it was called Left Alone. Now that game, that was a psychological horror. And I gotta, I gotta say, when we played that back, whenever it was, that shit was actually terrifying. Because... Like, just this, from the sounds, the visuals, and the constant sense of dread. You didn't know what was going to be in the next room, down the next hallway. You don't, you don't, you didn't know what was going to happen. There were no enemies in the game. There were, like, none at all. But there were constant sounds. There were constant, there was, something was always happening. And it was terrifying because you didn't know what was going to happen, and it kept making you think, well, it kept making me think, oh shit, you know, there's there's probably going to be something in the next in the next room, or down this hall, excuse me, down this hallway, 
but there wasn't. That game was genuinely terrifying. Excuse me, my god, why am I hiccuping? Uh, Left Alone was genuinely terrifying. You don't need a horror game with lots of chases. Not that this game has lots of chases. This game, uh, like, okay, the this this version of the original from 2016, um, even though there is some combat, it's not plentiful, which is good. Like, it doesn't get overwhelming to the point it's like, oh, oh it's getting uh, less scary now because I have to keep running from this bitch. Uh, but no, it's, I don't even know if you guys could hear me. I think I was far away from the mic. You probably could still hear me. Uh, holy hell, now here comes a yawn. <sighs> Excuse me. But yeah, like I say, uh, Left Alone was genuinely terrifying. And the thing of it is, the game was always dark. Left Alone was always dark. Every room you went in, every hallway... And again, there were no enemies, but holy shit, did it ever make it feel like that you were going to be chased down any moment. Yeah. Like, I love Outlast. I know that Outlast does have a lot of chase sequences. But the thing of it is, Outlast does it well. Even though there's there's plentiful scenarios where you get chased down, it's the way that they do it that makes it scary every single time that you get chased down by one of the inmates from the first game or one of the townspeople from the second game or one of the uh, other like uh, enemies from Trials, you know? It doesn't matter. Red Barrels does a really good job when it comes to chasing. And again, with this with this version of 2016, uh, there's not a whole lot of enemy encounters where you actually have to run from, which is good because if it was plentiful, it was more often. It would be it would take away the uh, horror experience. But like I say, I feel like I here's the thing. I know I just said that Outlast does it well. Because they have... I don't know. It's just the way that Red Barrels does their chase sequences. I feel like if Layers of Fear were to do that, it would just get a little tedious. But with Red Barrels, they know exactly how to make a good chase sequence. <clears throat> I mean, don't get me wrong. Running from... Uh, or try, trying to get away from the uh, uh, this woman that we keep seeing... It, it, it gets intense. It's really fucking intense. Now, it probably wouldn't be as if we constantly had to get, had to run away from her. But yeah, like, it's... It's just that... Holy shit! I fucking hate when I start yawning because it just never stops. <clears throat> Uh, I, I was trying to finish off my thought process. I can't remember what I was going to say now, though. Oh, yeah. Uh, so when it comes to horror games, I love my psychological horror. I love my survival horror. And, uh, if I had to choose, I think I would honestly go with psychological horror. And again, it's just because I think it's genuinely more terrifying when... I mean, when there is nothing actually chasing you, but you keep thinking something is going to chase you. I, lo I, I think it's genuinely more terrifying when a game actually fucks with you mentally, psychologically, more than, uh, more than it, if it, more than it does if it were to actually involve more chases and combat and shit like that. You know what I mean? When you have nothing at your disposal, and you just have that constant sense of dread, even though nothing actually makes itself known, that's more terrifying. Speaking of terrifying, that is also terrifying. Well, alright. So that means we're on this chapter. So we have one chapter left. Damn. That's crazy. 
Well, we have one chapter left for Layers of Fear 1. It's going to be interesting to see what happens when we... He simply wasn't enough. God, I am... It's going to be really interesting to see what happens when we finish when we finish up the last chapter for this game. It's going to be very interesting because it's going to well, it's going to be interesting in a in the way that I'm going to be interested to see how it transitions into the next game. Uh, actually, no, I feel like it's we're probably going to finish off the chapter like once we finish off the final chapter probably going to end up back as the writer then she's going to start then she's probably going to like have some scares herself maybe and then we're probably going to she's probably going to sit down and start off with the second game I don't know it's probably going to be some kind of transition like that but man I can't believe we only have one chapter left because we've already done these four we're currently on this one and, we, and then that's the last one but yeah we're currently on this one right here so that's great. Love that. Although considering, uh, I mean, we've only been streaming for an hour and an hour and a half. Uh, I think I'm going to leave this for another time. I love, I see, here's the thing. I'm loving the game and I don't want to like play too much of it so soon. If that makes any sense. Like part of me is just like really, I do want to keep going. But I also want to save it. I don't want to get too ahead of myself too quickly. So we're just going to look at this uh, beautiful painting while I uh, say what I'm going to say. So yeah, I do believe I'm going to just stop it here. And we're going to save the rest for another stream. I'm going to take our time with this. I'm not going to try to rush it. Like, I'm not going to try to rush it through in like one stream or even just... You know, just rush it through so soon, you know? I'm not going to try to do that. I'm enjoying this game. I love this game. I want to try to make it last. So, yeah. Uh, now, we could we could stream something else uh, just to make up for, you know, this stream only being an hour and 40 minutes. It will be an hour and 40 minutes in, like, a couple, in a couple minutes here, but... Uh, yeah, we could do that, or we could just have the stream. I just don't know what we would stream for for a little bit. It's probably a really bad idea to stream some Call of Duty. Here's the thing, though. <laughs> if we were to do that, chances are we probably have, like, two good games, and then the rest would be absolutely garbage. That's, uh, that's, that actually seems to be the most common thing that I've been noticing, especially when I try to stream. Because when we streamed, not yesterday, but was it yesterday? We, no, we streamed the day before. Uh, but the day before, or the time before the day before, when we streamed Modern Warfare 3 for the first time, I think we had two good games, and then the rest were shit. We kept having to leave every single one because it kept because they were just awful lobbies. And then we did the same thing couple, uh, the other day. We had two good games, and then the rest were just games of progress and games we had to keep leaving. It uh, it's, it's unfair. <laughs> it takes a while before you can actually get a good lobby again. It's fun, you know? So no, we're not going to do that. We're not going to stream Modern Warfare 3 in this stream. Uh, I mean... Yeah, you know what? It wouldn't hurt to just stop the stream. We're we're an hour and forty minutes. I know, it's still pretty short, but like, what else are we gonna do? And like I said, I don't want to rush this. I want to take my time with it because this is definitely one of my one of my many favorite horror games to play. So, yeah, we'll just end it here. It's all good. So, I hope you all enjoyed. If you all did enjoy, and you want to make sure that you don't miss another live stream, then Kindly hit me with a follow on Twitch and turn on notifications if you don't want to miss another live stream. 
you can click on the link that's in the description below on my YouTube channel or my YouTube channel uh, of this video, I meant to say. Although I think that there is also a link to my Twitch on my YouTube channel as well. So, yeah. And you can follow the link twitch.tv slash TPM, the potato man. So again, you can follow the link to my Twitch channel that's in the description below of this video and many of my other videos prior to this one. And there's also a link just uh, like up in the... Uh, See, YouTube has been changing their shit a lot. So, okay, either way, there's a there's a link on my Twitch channel or there's a link on my YouTube channel as well that'll take you to my Twitch. So, two places you can find the link description of this video and on my actual YouTube channel. And again, you can just follow the link twitch.tv slash TPM the potato man. Also, if you want to check out my Twitter and Discord, there is a link for both of those in the description below on my Twitch channel. And if you want to follow me on Twitter, then by all means. And if you want to join up on my Discord server, then again, by all means, the, those decisions are entirely yours. And last but not least, my YouTube. If you want to check out my YouTube, then there is a link in the description below on my Twitch channel. So just go on down there and click on it. It'll take you right over. And if you like what you see over on my YouTube and you want to support the channel, then kindly hit the subscribe button and turn on notifications so you don't miss any future uploads. Also, you will find a large variety of games that I've played throughout the years on my YouTube. So if there's a game, if there's a series that uh, I've played from beginning to end and you want to watch it from beginning to end in order, uh, playlist is the best bet for you. Everything is uploaded and placed in the playlists in order. So yeah, and again, with my Twitch channel, if you like what you see and you want to support my Twitch channel as well, then again, hit the follow button and turn on notifications. So, and again, just uh, one more reiteration here. The link to my YouTube is in the description below on my Twitch channel. That's it. So. I hope you all enjoyed this Layers of Fear stream. I know I did. I I just I just love this game. So it's really nice being back with it. It's really nice coming back and playing a game that I played back in 2016, but different. Because obviously this game is pretty much, it's not even the same game. And that's what I love about it. A lot of different improvements, uh, Graphical updates, we have ray tracing, like it's basically, a, it's just a next gen Layers of Fear game, and it's great. I love this. And it's very well optimized. That's even, like, it's even better. I have everything on max settings, ray tracing turned on, and I'm still, like, you see my frames up here. I mean, I, it has not dipped below anything. Any, any of, it has not dipped below to, like, say, 80 frames. Even then, 80 frames is still pretty good, but the frames have remained consistent, is basically what I'm trying to say here. So it's great. I love this game, even back when I played in 2016, but it's even better now. <laughs> so if you guys have played the game back in 2016 and you were wondering about this one, give this one a try as well. It is it is basically 2016, but it's different. It's It's also very, very different from 2016, Layers of Fear. So, yeah. Anyway, I'll catch you all in the next stream. Um, and don't worry, we will be continuing Red Dead Redemption 2. Uh, we might actually do that the next stream, maybe. One, either this or RDR2. Either way, both games will be completed. Well, we still have a long way to go for RDR2, but you, you get my point. Anyway, have a great one, everybody. And again, Happy New Year. I hope you all have a great year ahead of yourselves, and I will catch you all in the next stream. Take it easy. Love you all. Peace out.